Tonight, we dine like dogs. Let's eat. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies and we are back down Highway 192 to try out another spot that we have brought up in previous videos that we wanted to try, Sam. Where? Lazy Dog. Yes, so Lazy Dog is a dog-friendly restaurant. They actually have a dog menu, right? They do, and it is a chain. There's like 40 of them all over. They started in California and it's inspired by the owner's um, family ranch in Wyoming. So it's a rustic setting, but it's supposed to be elevated comfort food. They source a lot of their food from farms. I think they get like bison from Wyoming Ooh. or something. So. Nice. It's actually right next to Portillo's, which we've had a video on previously. And it's in the same shopping center as Kiki's Breakfast Cafe. Very interesting because Portillo's, their mascot is a hot dog. And this Lazy Dog, dog friendly restaurant. So dogs all around, dog friendly area here. We notably don't have our dog, right? Yes, I have dog mom guilt right now. <laughs> like I feel very bad, but filming is challenging enough. Like yeah. in the restaurant, we try to be respectful of those around us. And unfortunately, Frank, like we've tested taking him to other places and he just barks excessively. That does not mean Frank won't be in this video though, because you can take some dog food home with us. <laughs> so this video won't be ending when our meal ends inside Lazy Dog. We're going to get a Frank review on some of the food that you can get here for the dogs. We're going to see what Frank thinks. He will rate it from one to ten. I will transcribe whether He it's pretty one much just inhales his food, so I don't know how <laughs> I'm going to figure out his rating. Yeah, translate. I meant translate is what I meant. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how he enjoys it. We'll see what's on the dog menu. We'll see how the food is. We'll see if it's worth maybe going out of your way because this is right outside Walt Disney World, right? It is, and if you are vacationing with your dog, you can bring him here because yeah. there are some dog-friendly Disney resorts. Yeah, this is probably about 15 minutes from the Animal Kingdom Park or Animal Kingdom Lodge, just so you guys know. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our dinner at Lazy Dog down Highway 192. Just so you guys can see, this is the shopping center we were in when we ate at Kiki's. Kiki's is right down over there. Also they have a Burlington, a Marshall's, and right across the street is the Portillo's. Uh, you will need to curl around to the front to be able to get in though. They do have this heated outdoor patio that you'll see as you go to walk in. This is the only area the dogs are allowed in. They are not allowed in the interior area of the restaurant. You can actually see they have a bar and a live fire. I wanted to show you guys a bit of 192. So here is Lazy Dog. There is the Outback Steakhouse. And this is 192. It's kind of like the I-4 of its day. Right across the street, actually, is the Sunset Walk. It's kind of like the Disney Springs, although not as big as Disney Springs, for the Margaritaville Resort, which is right across the street. So if you're staying at Margaritaville, Orlando, this is literally walking distance right across the street. Although I definitely recommend uh, you know, walking at the crosswalk where the lights are. All right, let's go to head in. What I am noticing, there's a dog bone actually on the door. And also, Sam, you see that? Paws. Yeah, there's a dog print or a paw print. All right, let's head in and see how the wait is. All right, they got us right in. Definitely very rustic. They do have a bar seating. The bar is kind of like indoor outdoor. Look at these uh, nice little booths that they have. All right, so we got the menu. It's like a leather menu, Sam. See that interesting. Uh, so they obviously have a lot of different drinks here. You can see the full bar. The highlighted items are the favorites. And then if anything's underlined, it means that it's spicy. So it looks like this Thai chicken is one of their favorite salads. They also have Brussels sprout, sprouts is a notable small plate. And I am looking at this black and blue burger. I just looked at the back of the menu and I realized they actually have house beers and they have take home TV dinners you buy five, get one free. They look interesting. It looks like they have them like... Uh... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, so before we get our food, they actually send over some of these sauces for us to use to like dip our french fries and stuff in. So this is a mustard that they actually use uh, their beer in. So there's an IP in it, but the alcohol is cooked out. This is a barbecue sauce. This is a soy sauce. And then this right here is a hot sauce. So I'll have to try a few of these out on 
my french fries. All right, so Sam and I got to start with our signature mocktails. I got the Jamaican lemonade. Sam, what did you get? I got the coconut pineapple agua fresca, which is made with coconut water, pineapple juice, house-made sweet and sour, sugar cane, and mint. Yours looks very pretty. Yeah, mine has like a lot of stuff in it. If you know, you know. It's really nice. What was that? Very sweet and refreshing. I like the mint. It tastes more pineapple than anything, uh, but I really like pineapple juice, so I'm gonna give it an eight. And if you get refills on the mocktails, they're only $1.95, which I think is nice. All right, so Jamaican lemonade. Sam, what's in this? The Jamaican lemonade has orange, pineapple, pomegranate juice, sweet and sour, coconut milk, soda, and lime. Like you said, coconut milk heavy? heavy? No, I said mine was very pineapple. Pineapple juice heavy, that's what I meant. But the pineapple juice adds a, a nice creaminess to the, to the, sorry, the coconut juice adds a nice creaminess to the pineapple juice. And the pineapple juice is a signature tart flavor. I love the citrus with the smoothness of the coconut. Very well-made mocktail. Uh, a lot of interesting mocktails they have on there too. I'll give this an eight. I agree, Sam. I think that they are both pretty high quality mocktails. All right, so the appetizers are served. These are their new bacon cheddar biscuits. They even have a little honey butter with them. They seem like an elevated kind of red lobster biscuit, but Sam is gonna start off with their signature highlighted chipotle chicken quesadilla. Comes with uh, guac, sour cream, and salsa. Sam, what's in this? I'm assuming chicken and cheese. <laughs> I would assume. But I have to say, they look really good. They're nice and crispy. It looks like there's some cheese crusted into the tortilla. You need a crispy quesadilla. I don't want a soggy quesadilla. I feel like Taco Bell has soggy quesadillas, though. They're the exception of having a soggy It's mass produced, I guess. Oh my god, it's very good. The reason it's highlighted, I guess. Yeah, it's super melty. The chicken is seasoned really nicely. It's a, it's a really good quesadilla. I wish it had peppers in it. I like green and red peppers in my quesadilla. Okay. It's still, without it, it's still really good. Is the chicken like pulled or more like full meat? Is it juicy? Shredded. It looks more shredded. Salsa isn't too spicy. It's nice. Mm. Nice guac, it tastes fresh. And everything is made fresh to order. It's really good. I'm gonna have eight. Yeah, it looks it looks very high quality. All right, so these are labeled new on the menu. I just brought them up before. They're the biscuits. Um, I guess I'll try them with and without the honey. And surprise, we got our entrees at the same time. So we have all the food at the table right now, and it's kind of a small table. So we're a little stressed. So these are very soft. They have a nice cheddar flavor. Let me just, I actually just kind of dip that in that whipped butter. It has a sharp cheddar flavor, but my issue with it is that it's very doughy and not like crispy on the outside. These aren't my favorite thing. Mm. They're not bad, but you know what the holy grail of cheddar biscuits are, right Sam? Red Lobster, Cheddar Bay Biscuits. These are not Cheddar Bay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go five with these. Um, I stick with the quesadilla. All right, so this is their signature pot roast dip. You can actually get the fries flavored a few different ways. One is Cajun, the other is Asian seasonings. It actually has some seaweed and sesame seeds on these fries. I do like how thick they are. And look at this tender pot roast. Mm. Oh, it tastes just like pot roast. And obviously, you have your au jus. Should I dip, Sam? Yes, you should. Right, so let's see. Nice and moist. Wet. You know me, fat, Sam. I'm a, I'm a fan of wet foods. There's a little horseradish flavor in that. I do like the bread. It's very good for, like, absorbing the moisture. It's very pillowy, it looks. Very good. Um, it has a little bit of a horseradish flavor, as you guys can see. And there are some onions, but the thing is, I literally got like no onions on this one. But this one, as you can see, has some more onions on it. It also has some cheese at the bottom. Interesting. Um, it's good. Let me try the fries out with the seasoning. Mm. 
I can season it. I like the type of fry too. See how that sauce is. Mm. Oh, it's sweet. But not too sweet. Oh, a little spice too. It's like a sweet and sour sauce. It's like a creamy sweet and sour. That's good. I will give this whole thing a, a seven. I think it's a elevated above average. Unique. I'm not particularly blown away, but it's good. I'll definitely order it again. All right, Sam, so what did you get? This is like one of their bowls, right? Yeah, so I got the Mediterranean chicken. They have a whole menu of road trip bowls that are craveable bowls inspired by an adventure. So I went with this one. This one reminds me of something you could get over at... The Mara, right? Yes, the Mara, yeah. It doesn't look as good as the Mara, though. I'm not going to lie. The Mara is the quick service restaurant over at uh, Jumbo House at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, just so you know. Some tzatziki, some feta, chicken, onions, tomatoes. The cucumbers look a little soggy to me, like they look weird. Interesting. Should I pour the sauce on? Oh yeah, you gotta pour that sauce on. It's very tiny. Very tiny sauce. Not very wet for me. I got super wet food. I have not enough wet food. It's okay. I like the tzatziki sauce. I don't think the chicken is that great. It's just pretty, like, plain. I think I should have picked something else. I wanted to eat something lighter. And I just think at this type of restaurant, I think the other options would have been. This is a thick boy restaurant, you know? Yeah. But I understand, like, you want to you want to get the idea of, can you have a lighter dish here, you know? That's probably why they created this side of the menu. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, the cucumbers look sus. Like, I don't want to eat them. Like, I just think they don't look right. Um, it's okay. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Goes to the biscuits level. So some have really impressed us, and some have kind of just hit middle ground. All right, I'm gonna try these sauces out now. So this is the mustard. All right, mustard. Mm, spicy. Different. You taste the IPA. Ooh, it's good with the mustard. Yeah, seven. All right, so this one is the barbecue sauce. Oh, it's very sweet. Give it a six. It's a little sweet for me. I do like sweet barbecue sauce though. Try the soy sauce off camera. It tastes like a standard soy sauce. I would give it like a five. Oop, this is the hot sauce. We'll see how hot it is. All right. It's got some heat. It's spicy. I'm not a huge, ooh, that's very spicy. Too hot for me, but if you, you may like it. I'm gonna give that a five, but it's hot. So maybe you'll like it. Not for me though. It tastes like, some cayenne pepper and maybe some milk. All right, so we wanted to give you an update on Sam's little bowl here. I actually would probably give this a three. It was, my Honestly, I was going to say one. And I do like the tzatziki, but I don't think the vegetables are fresh. And the, there wasn't enough feta. And the chicken does not. Taste the chicken has like a, a very um, chewy. It has a bit of piece out. And I, then Jason tried it, and Jason like Jason eats and likes everything, and he even was like, "No, you can't eat that." Yeah, we can't recommend the bowls, but everything else has been pretty solid, I think. All right, so the drink menu is actually where you're going to be able to find all the desserts. Uh, they're going to be kind of way yonder in the back. It's under sweet tooth, and they're known for this butter cake. So I think that's what we're getting. The s'more brownie sundae sounds good too, as well as the banana pudding is what they're known for. Oh, and triple chocolate mousse. So all pups are allowed in the back porch. A bowl of water is complimentary, and you can get either a grilled hamburger or chicken breast. I, Frank Frank likes his red meat, right, Sam? He's allergic to chicken, so Yeah, chicken. he's allergic to chicken. Now there are patio rules, so you can all see why Frank isn't allowed in here. He will be barking. Avoid the three bees. Begging, barking, and biting. He doesn't. He doesn't really bite. He doesn't bite. Snatch food out of your hand, like and bite. Unintentionally bite you, but begging and barking is like, that's his thing. Yeah, he'd be begging and barking, so 
unfortunately he's not allowed on the patio. Frank will be breaking them rules. All right, so this is the butter cake. It is a minted strawberry compote. It's almost like a pound cake bottom. And it has this banana bean ice cream. And after my entree, I'm gonna really need this dessert to be really good to redeem. This. Yeah, no, the entree was not good. I think definitely the star was the quesadilla so far. Quesadilla though, but let's. It's really warm. I didn't know. I didn't expect it. It's so warm. It's it's like a very moist, like angel food pound cake. It's buttery. The outside is like a little bit of a crisp, nice cold, cool vanilla bean ice cream. This is really good, and I really needed this to be really good. I'm gonna give this a nine. Oh wow. Nine? I gotta try it myself. Mm. It's heavenly. I'm so happy because I was off to a rough Sweet and buttery with that vanilla flavor and warm, like so warm. Just look at it dripping right there in the center. I'm gonna try like a crispy outside. Mm. A little tartness in the compo. It's like if angel food cake was like super buttery and warm and moist. This is the star of the show. This in the quesadilla, nine, I agree. What they do, they do well, and this is done very well. All right, we have acquired Frank's food. Let's see if I can open this. I kind of want to eat this. It does look good. Bring up on our way out. It does look like they have a beer club. They have a lot of different beers and drinks you can get here. Obviously, craft the open beers. bar. Yes, craft beers. Even their mustard is beer in it. I wanted to bring up on our way out the chandelier, which is crafted, crafted <laughs> by Aspen Logs. It's right as you walk in. They also have this reindeer. Well, it's a reindeer because it has reindeer antlers on it now, but it actually looks like a horse that's made all by different tools. Bits of metal. Yeah. All right, let's get this food over to Frank. All right, Frank. Franklin, we got food for you, lazy dog. You here? There you are. Ready for dinner? All right, Frank, the first thing we have to do so you have to get your bowl. I mean, I guess we could probably just feed him right out of here, but I feel like this is too much for him right now, right, Sam? Yeah. This is more than what he usually gets and for dinner. No, they don't put any salt and pepper on it. Yeah. Yeah, we already give him half. Yeah, half of that. Half yeah, half he's already had a little dinner today. This legit does look better than the bowl that you had. <laughs> like it smells and good too. And it was too. cheaper. It's yeah. literally this was like what, like five bucks or something. Yeah. Put a little salt and, and pepper mine in that. Was I'll like have 16. it. Like sixteen. Insane. He needs more meat. Mm, veggies. He likes rice though. He, he does. All right, Frank, you ready? Now he's quiet. <laughs> oh, beggar blob. Okay. Let's get your review, Frank. All right, Frank. So what do you say? Ten. He's not leaving a bite left, so I'm gonna say I'm translating for Frank. I'm gonna say he's giving it a ten. All right, so that is it for our time dining at Lazy Dog. And Happy New Year to everyone that watched, because this is going to be our New Year's video, right, Sam? Happy New Year. Yeah, Frank, what did you think? I thought it was very good. <laughs> We're sorry delicious. we didn't bring you. Yeah, uh, no barking, no begging. You don't bite, buddy, but yeah, no, it's you do bark and beg. It's not a place for friends. <laughs> not a place he wants to go to. Uh, I do want to say that the two top things that we had on the menu were definitely the dessert. The butter cake was delicious. I'd go back just for that. Yes. I <clears throat> think I ordered wrong. <laughs> yeah, um, the bowl was the worst thing. The quesadilla was the best savory thing that we had. Um, I do think that the the staff, they were nice. Uh, they were helpful, especially the manage managerial staff. Uh, but we did get all of our food at the same time, which is kind of like a pet peeve for me. Um, oh, we're a little red right now. If you guys could see, the reason we're red is we actually have a red light on for Christmas. No, we're not. It's not because we're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it, was a little, it was a little hectic Yeah. in there. 
Yeah, it was hectic, but I did like the rustic aesthetic. I liked the sign like uh, on the wall with the dogs on the wall. I loved the live fireplaces they had over in there. Yeah, and the little uh, paw on the table. Yes, the paw on the table, the chandelier, the wooden chandelier. So it was very nice. Uh, we do think it's... I, it really depends on what you would want to do if you think it's worth going out of your way to go outside Disney to go experience it. If you're on 192 or at the Margaritaville Resort, I think it's a great restaurant to go by. I do think that this type of aesthetic or this type of restaurant would do very well in the Dollywood type of area. Yeah, it, near, looks, like, Lodge. it looks like a Dollywood type of restaurant. Yeah, if you've seen our Dollywood videos, it has yeah this like very rustic <laughs> aesthetic that I think would complement <laughs> Dollywood very well. Uh, the food was, was solid. Some elevated, some not Frank, so much. He's heavy. Um, yes, and Frank, he enjoyed his food. I just so. had your tummy. Yeah, being able to bring your dog is a, is a great amenity. And it's honestly, all, a place that is like that. welcoming at all is like, I really do like that. Yeah. And I didn't like my entree, but there were things that I did really enjoy. Yeah. Like, I'm not counting it out. Like, I would try it again. I would definitely order differently. Yeah, I would go back. I don't think it was the best, but I don't think it was the worst experience. I do think it's very cool that you could bring this guy with you and he... Definitely enjoy the burger. For Frank, it's it's a must-go to, I'm sure. <laughs> and if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video subscribing. It also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam and Frank? <laughs> every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Oh, my gosh. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. By the time this video is up, our tree will not be. Uh, so we figured why not immortalize the tree so you guys can see or learn a little bit more about us. You know, we have a Heart Song Lodge ornament. Uh, this was the ornament from the Christmas party. Yes, yeah, if you saw our Christmas the, party video this the candy year. candy cane in. We always like to get ornaments and mugs from places that we travel to. Our first Florida Christmas. Christmas. Which is we last moved to Florida year. from New York. This I really like. This is actually the Disney map, and it shows Paddlefish, which is where we got married. Yeah. Oh, look. This is when we got engaged. That's not nice we're going through this. I don't think we're going to spend <laughs> enough time this year. We got engaged on September 13th at Disneyland, actually. In oh, why is the Frank section of the castle right in Disneyland? Here. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Where's the Frank section? So we got a Frank. A f another Frank. This is like a little, looks like a Jewish Frank. And look, Frank another just, Frank. He, he pulled up right here. section. Your section of the tree. Frank's saying Happy New Year. Say, where's more food? <laughs>